Hello everyone and welcome to episode 66 of the Kyoki Puro Local Global Series here on the channel using TW2020 as we are going to start our 6th year and probably final year of Kyoki Pure as if you saw the last episode which I don't know how you, you haven't and you're watching this one uh, we lost a good bit of money the last month and uh, you know the gamble definitely did not pay off and we're trying to backpedal on that plan because uh, what we have done is once we, <laughs> we get over here alright uh, so we lowered back the music quality so after the $10,000 we spent last month I was like alright we're not going to do that we're going to Lower it, we'll take the penalty, whatever Russell World Pro Rest does to us, it is what it is. Like, if we lose them, we lose them, it's no big deal. We're just trying to survive at this point, because I figured maybe the return on investment would be worth it. Definitely was not worth it, not at all. I mean, it was, we definitely shot for the fucking stars on that one, and uh, failed miserably. But now, you know, we've got our, our situation figured out. We do have uh, our announcers, which are these two. Wonderful people, as uh, well, I won't be using them a whole lot, obviously, because with Russell World Pro Rest being basically in the toilet with us and, and saying, like, all right, you, you guys aren't going to be at our music quality levels, we're just going to kick you off. I'm assuming we'll last maybe two or three shows, and then we'll probably get kicked off, and then we'll probably get rid of those guys. So it's a uh, guy and girl, uh, so it's not going to mean a too big of a loss. We'll just try to refocus and still worry about trying to get the small uh, that's really the game plan going forward plus we have another show this month so we're gonna have two shows in one month again which i was like oh, we should not be doing that but it makes sense we need to have that show be where it's at it just makes sense and uh, then after that i don't think there's any more two shows per month thing and plus you know we're trying to get to 69 shows that's the goal in mind that's the goal in mind as uh the Main event for this Kyoki Bureau 2025 show. It's a champion versus champion. Nambi Genda Mercury yet again. This time they don't have to go through a tournament to face each other. Just going to be one on one. Don't have to worry about anything else. As it's going to be 14 minutes maybe. 13. Yeah, 13 is fine. As uh, it's probably going to be a high spots match. It's probably for the best. The winner being Nambi Genda. So the first ever two time. You know, our uh, undisputed champion, if you will. First person to hold the Kyoki Puro and Kyoki National title at the same time. And it's only been a year since the title's been in, uh, surfacing around in Kyoki Puro. So that's kind of sad, but, uh, you know, I just feel like that's probably the best way. If this is the end of the series, uh, that's a great way to end it. And in the co-main tag match, Waiko versus Dark Agents. We saw Waiko, they, there's a bit of uh, some tension between the two. They try to say it's, you know, competitive edge and, and whatnot. Is that going to be close to Shadow? Is this going to be Prowl, uh, or is it going to be Darkwing and Shadow? For the Kyoki Puro Tag Team titles. As I want to say, they've done this, well, not actually once before, they have did the six man, so that's perfect now we're doing this. With Kaito Doan beating Shadow in Keeping the tag team titles on Waiko. Some more, just to keep it going. With that, alright. Perfect. There, alright. So, and now the undercard. We got Koji Yamamoto taking on Stunner Siaku in the next match. Should be pretty good. With uh, Koji Yamamoto getting the win. As I don't, I think they've wrestled maybe once before. No, they haven't even wrestled once before. It's a fresh matchup. It's always fun to do. Always nice to see that. With uh, Kuji Yamamoto getting the win. Next match, tag match. So the first time we've had like two tag matches on the same card. As the Latin Kings of... Uh, well, we don't even have them as the Latin Kings. We'll go ahead and put them here. Uh, Hector and Marco. We're going to take on Ray Snow and Kim Kawano. As just a couple of all-business bad motherfuckers. Teaming up to take on the Latin Kings. Latin Kings are going to get the win now. As Hector is going to beat Kimi Kawano, which will lead to a death match between the two at the next show. Perfect. Always will. If we don't want to piss him off, uh, we're going to try try everything we can to not have him. Alright. <laughs> Kimi Kawano is always just terrible to work with. 
So the, uh, the the next matchup, the next two undercard matchups, Kier Claiborne versus Goro. I believe another first time matchup. As we're gonna have Goro taking the fall, because I think Kier Claiborne's actually gonna perform. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be very very close. So I'm really not sure. Yeah, Goro is uh. First time meeting. All right, maybe not. All right, I guess we'll have Goro get the win. We don't want to piss off everybody. And then the undercard. They open up the show. Ryoku, Hadayama, and Prowler. And that's gonna be a death match. I didn't. That's right, death match. And five minutes. Oh no, not Prowler. Ryoku, Hadayama, getting the win. <laughs> Oh wow, Prowler is pissed. We have this before. Yeah, we have Prowler, and Prowler's won every time. Yeah, that's right. Well, that's what I get for doing Young Lions. I don't know why. I was like, yeah, we should do Young Lions. Because like, early on, it, it shouldn't have mattered. Prowler getting that win, albeit undeserved. Alright, so let's uh, run the show now. I don't probably should have looked to see. Okay, here for a good thing. Wait, my house fucking ran. I just want to make sure. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's all I can do there. I'm just kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place but as far as this match goes. We needed a death match, and, uh, yeah, it, it was shit. We'll keep it going. It's Goro and uh, Kira Club. I mean, actually, Kira out before, I should have just went with it. That's, I'm kind of getting a little antsy with some of these guys and, and kind of giving them what they want, and I need to hold my fucking... Hold my hold the line and uh, keep uh, what I want, and because Kira should have won, and uh, that was the right decision. But uh, Goro was that would have fit. Gets the win with the hot shot. That's all right. Uh, we might have this. We might run this back and have Kira get the win this time, just to really shove it in Goro's face. Is in the tag match of the Latin Kings and Ray Snow and Kimi Kawano as Hector Gallinado getting the win over Kimi Kawano with a shooting star press, and then they'll have their death match. Uh, the weak link for sure was Marco. Should be a really good match, though. Should be really good. I gotta make them the Latin Kings, though. I need to make that a thing in the tag division. And it's, wow, I mean, a 51. Really good match here of Koji Yamamoto and Stunner Saku. It was Stunner Saku. Should've won. Let Koji Yamamoto get to the one with the level lock. It's tough, you know, I just wanted to give Koji Yamamoto a nice win. Sorry about that. I just fucking... I, I got a pin in my hand, and I just slammed it up against the, the tower here. Probably did not. That uh, probably didn't sound good at all in the audio feed. As uh, yeah, I mean Koji Yamamoto. I just felt like he needed a win here. Gave it to him, and uh, I mean it's it's fine. It's no big deal on that one. As uh, the tag title matchup actually gets a 53. As even though Darkwing and Shadow's timings all over the place, uh, the the Waiku team obviously killing it there. It's Kaito Dorian with a 62, 48 for Yuta Sano. They outperformed Darkwing and Shadow by a mile. As that's their third defense of the tag titles. As they get the one superstar maker. Hell yeah. And the main event's a 55. Poorly placed match. As uh, because the high spots match. You really need to get the crowd buzzing and ready for the action. They just weren't. I figured they would by the time this match came. But that's alright. Still a 55. Now I'm beginning to make our third defense. The Kyoki Pure title. Getting the win over Mercury yet again. And getting another championship as well. As a uh, man. Double champ. Now I'm beginning to. The belt collector. Killing it. As, uh, what a show. Went through a uh, bit of a turbulence in the beginning. But other than that, besides that 11 opener, everything was really, really good from 44 to 55. I, I like that. That's the shows that now we've grown the undercard really well. And, oh, the year, really, since we've gained, you know, guys like Goro and uh, Ray Snow, Stunner Siaku, like those guys have really improved and have really been good throughout the, the period as well. And so again, we're probably going to try to get... Kimi Kawano some love. Try to get him. And same thing with Mercury. Try to get him to not hate us. And, uh, Kato the win. Well, best guy on the show. So give him some love some more. Good shit there. Alright. And alright. Awesome stuff there. As, uh, that will do it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. As who knows how long <laughs> this series is gonna go for. It's, uh, boy, we're, we're really knocking on the door as far as, uh, what can happen as far as you know, us being bankrupt? We are very, very close. I'm sure we only have a couple shows left. Been a hell of a run. Hopefully we ended out, out on a good note. Hopefully you all have enjoyed the ride this uh, year. Year plus ride that we've had in Kyokupira. I mean, we've had quite the run. Yeah, we're $4,000 in debt. 
not great. <laughs> As, uh, the sponsors will probably take over the other half of that. As, uh, you know, we'll probably make it to around negative 7,000 at that point. Uh, as far as this month goes. Not great. Not great at all. As uh, then we'll have the fight continues too. And that will put us more in debt. So that should be fun. As, uh, yeah, I mean, this is pretty much going to be the the, uh, the, final, the final stroll of the Gyoki Puro series. And I hope you all have enjoyed it for our final couple of shows. <laughs> Take care, everyone.